Over the last few generations, there's been increasing emphasis put on the idea that we need to save endangered species, and we need to do it now. However, in many cases, we aren't told why we need to do this. Losing species does matter. In this video, I'll be taking you through some of the main reasons why it matters, and hopefully by the end, you'll be encouraged to take action. First of all, what is an endangered species? Well, put simply, it's a species present in such small numbers that it's at risk of extinction. So why save them? 1. All species have a right to exist, just like we do. Humans, animals, plants, all organisms have evolved side by side together on this planet over millions of years, and every organism has its own place in an ecosystem. So humans have no right to take that away from another species. Whilst controlling populations is necessary in some cases, it's only usually as a result of humans knocking an ecosystem out of balance in the first place, and more natural solutions to these problems are often better than us controlling populations ourselves anyway. For example, in areas of Scotland, red deer populations grow so high that in order to keep the ecosystem in balance, people have to go out and shoot some of the deer. This isn't natural, and it wouldn't be necessary if humans hadn't eliminated all of the deer's natural predators from Scotland in the first place. A much better solution would therefore be to reintroduce these natural predators, such as lynx, who should be there anyway. 2. Different species rely on each other within an ecosystem. Balance within an ecosystem can be hard to maintain, especially when humans get involved, and the loss of one species often triggers the loss of others. For example, grey wolves were once hunted to near extinction in Yellowstone National Park. Grey wolves are predators of elk, so less grey wolves meant more elk. Elk eat plants, so more elk meant less plants. However, the beavers in Yellowstone also need particular plants for winter survival, and so less plants meant less beavers. To summarise, Change to the population of one species can significantly affect another species, even if they don't directly interact. So all species rely on each other for the maintenance of healthy populations. And that includes us. 3. We also rely on different species and their ecosystems. The natural world provides us with what we call ecosystem services. These are things that our environment, when in good health, will provide us with for free such as pollination, water detoxification, oxygen production, and more. The more species we remove from our planet, the less we will be able to benefit from these ecosystem services, and the more difficult life will become for humans in general. 4. The natural world generates important income for every country on the planet, one example being ecotourism, which generates billions of dollars every year throughout the world, often creating jobs for people who need them the most. 5. There's still so much that we don't know about other species. Every year new discoveries are made showing how us humans can benefit even more from the natural world. This is particularly relevant in medicine, as nearly half of all the drugs created in the last 30 years are either directly or indirectly from natural products. Driving more species to extinction will only result in the loss of more potential benefits to us humans. Some people argue that there isn't any point in saving endangered species, because it costs so much time, money and effort, but I think that's a terrible attitude to have, especially when you consider how much money is made at the expense of the environment in the first place. Yes, extinction is natural, but the current rate of extinction is not, and that's down to us. A recent study estimated that the rate of extinction has increased a hundredfold over the last century. Hopefully that puts the size of this problem into perspective a bit more. Anyway, there are some of the main reasons for why we should save endangered species. Not to mention the benefits of nature to our mental health, the fact that we can't predict exactly what will happen to an ecosystem if it loses a species, and also that many endangered species act as great indicators of environmental health, which therefore allows us to monitor how our ecosystems are doing as a whole. Now, it is possible that not every species will greatly affect things if it's lost, simply because some species exist in such small numbers now anyway that losing them wouldn't necessarily make such a big difference. So, I guess in those cases it comes down to my first point, the more philosophical argument, that every species has an equal right to exist, regardless of whether it makes a difference to the human race or not. And I personally think that this is something we're all obliged to respect. To summarise, we should save endangered species because, firstly, every species has an equal right to exist, and secondly, although, as I've said before, conservation shouldn't just be about what people want for themselves, 
We do benefit from biodiversity in many different ways. If you're interested in how you can help species near you, then subscribe to this channel because that's what I'll be talking about in future videos, along with other helpful content on wildlife and conservation.